guys, what's up? Uh, as you can see, or as you can tell from the title, we're gonna be kind of overlooking the things, important stuff that I think, and rumors and stuff that, like, we think is in the trailer of GTA 5, and you know stuff, and uh, you know things that we've caught, many uh, people have caught in the trailer that we think are important. So let's go ahead and start this. And uh, wait, let me apologize first uh, that this. I'm using the worst kind of setup to pause and play, so it might get a little weird, so... So let's... Why did I move here? I guess it was the weather. See, see, I'm using... I'm just pausing and playing in this Windows thing, so it's kind of hard. But let's stop here real quick. As you can see, we're on uh, the beach in California. If you do not know it's in California by now, if you've watched a trailer, you obviously know it's in California. But the main picture here is that there's a dog in the picture right there in the with the um, woman and man standing on the beach, which kind of hints that there might be animals in the next GTA. They might borrow stuff from Red Dead Redemption's in or like the physics of the animals from Red Dead Redemption to put in GTA 5, which is awesome. There'll be dogs and birds maybe that you can actually shoot or kill, which would be awesome. So let's continue. God, that thing. Here's the pier on the beach, obviously. And there's, uh, it looks like, if this is from gameplay, like actual gameplay from the game, it looks like they improved the AI. But if it's not, then that's not really a big deal. This might be just a cutscene. But if it is, that, like, how they react to each other, how they're running, which probably is not going to be AI. But if it is, that'd be pretty cool. That magic. You see it in the movies. Now, they were saying, there's a blimp in the corner, if you can see that, that people are saying that you might be able to fly those, which would be awesome. But, uh, thing here, if you, like, you were, be able, you were able to play golf in the other game, but it was not as, um, it wasn't like this, and everyone's saying you might be able to play golf and stuff, which is cool, and stuff. I wanted to retire from what I was doing, you know? From now, that. this is an interesting part of the thing, that they're saying that we might be able to go kind of kind of like out into the countryside of the uh, co uh not countryside but like mountains and stuff in california not just in the city parts which would be awesome and it's taking some of the red dead redemption features of mountains and stuff into the gameplay or trees and stuff which would be uh fun to go around outside of the cities and less air uh less um rural areas to uh you know rock climb and stuff but uh if there were animals in here you could just shoot them down with machine guns would be awesome which okay let's let's continue that line of work now this like this scene if you can see some more of the like graphics they added to the cars and stuff like if you have seen the GTA 4 ice enhancer uh mod it kind of looks like this. If it's for the PC Ice Enhancer, if you want to look that up on YouTube or whatever, it's a mod that adds a little bit more graphic detail into the cars and, uh, and the landscape, which looks like this is looks like exactly like it kind of does. If you if you go watch it or if you've seen it, you know what I'm talking about. So they did. It looks like they did improve the graphics. I don't know. It doesn't look. We don't know. Yeah. Ugh. We don't know if they improve the physics yet, because obviously. We don't know if this is gameplay or not, and so yeah, there's that. Be a good guy for once, a family man. Now this is interesting. In California, there are like um, big, uh, what is it called? Uh, get it on my tip of the tongue. It's like called wind farms, which are just lots of windmills to produce energy in like the outer skirts of the city. And this, if I'm correct, connects the roads between Los Angeles and um, San and uh, San Francisco in the real world. So that means you might be able to go to different parts of California. It's Los Angeles, San Francisco, and uh, I forgot the other city. But uh, there should be three cities, like in San Andreas. If you haven't played San Andreas, then I feel bad for you. But uh, so this road connects, and you can see there's a dirt car that is moving right there. That if you just saw it move, uh, there's a dirt car there, which means you might be able to drive on this road connecting to the different worlds. Or different cities, which is interesting. So, I bought a big house. Oh, whoops. Okay, well, well that was just a house, and it kind of was on, like, a mountain, kind of, because it looked like that. But uh, Now, this is the five, the fifth 
the highway which connects some of the cities too which is a big i think rockstar put this in for a purpose and that's the reason why is because this road connects two of the big main cities which means they're giving they might be hinting us that you can go to different cities which is cool of them and nice of them came here put my feet up and thought i'd be a dad like all the other dads now there's i'm taking some of this from other people i've watched like rewind theaters and people who broke this down too now if you see there's some nice dressed man <laughs> nicely dressed not like he has nice clothes and stuff and as you can see right behind the white man i mean the white t-shirt right that was kind of racist i'm sorry if i said the white t-shirt man uh it says 70% off going out of business, which we'll see kind of hints later in the uh, trailer that this is not a good time in Los Angeles, which is kind of right now. The economy is not that great right now, so it's kind of hinting that it's not that good, which we'll see later. My kids would be like the kids on... Oh, whoops, okay, that was that was important, but uh, this part is important. Now, if you've played Vice City, you played as Tommy, and people are saying that this man... TV is Tommy which kind of looks like him and does because in Vice City uh, the, it was like in the past it was set a few years I forgot when it was set I think it was in the 60s I don't remember what well it was a, it was not in the present which was all the other rest of the GTAs so now if you were this is Tommy when he was older which he's like an old mafia kind of dude where he owns like lots of people and he got he tells them what to do i don't think he might be a main character as we i was rumored that you might be able to play as multiple characters so yeah that everyone's rooming that's tommy and the peep the person who is doing the commentary was the voice of tommy in vice city so that is also hinting that this is tommy which everyone thinks it is tommy which i do too from vice city we play ball and sit in the sun but well yeah so this is just interesting to see where the plane, which also hints that you'll be able to fly planes like in all the rest of the GTAs. Well, most of them. I don't think you've flown in Vice City or the third one. Pretty sure. And that's just, uh, yeah, sh showing like that some people are not doing as well as others. So this in the right corner, I mean, yeah, the right corner, light side, it, that is what we expect to be Tommy. And those two guys that are coming out of the trunk. We have no idea who they are. Some people are saying that it is, uh, not CJ, um, what's his face? The guy from, uh, GTA 4, what's his face? I totally forgot his face. I forgot his face. Uh, the person you play in the Ballad of Gay Tony. I forgot his name. I totally forgot his name. And we have no idea who the other guy is, but I, I doubt that guy is the guy from the game. As you can see, they look like they're robbing someone. It looks like a bank. As you can see on the door, it has a V, which is five or what the whole. There's lots of fives or Vs in the trailer if you can look for them. And it looks like they're robbing a bank and such. So here's a nice car, and we think that's Tommy, and it kind of looks like Tommy. So. Okay, so now you see lots of people on the side of the streets, which is hinting that, that of course the economy's not doing well, so lots of people are homeless or just not doing as well or whatever now this is a sign that is for foreclosure if you can see it right there so which means that the economy is not doing well so people are not getting good jobs and they're not allowed to keep their homes which means the banks foreclosing them so that also hints that this is a time period that the jobs uh, the economy is not is down which is pretty much right now or not as it doesn't maybe this bad i don't know i'm not that I'm not a government politics person follower guy. So this guy's putting up a flow closer sign. So also said the economy's not doing so well. And of course, you got your hookers. Best part. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, they're a good part. <laughs> As that's a little hint. That I don't know why they put it in here. They're just going to make sure you're not disappointed when you buy the game. Now, people are rumoring that this is Nico Bellic from GTA 4, and I doubt that. I highly doubt that. First of all, he was in Liberty City, and he's home... Really? The only thing that people are thinking is because he looks a little Russian, which is racist, by the way. And uh, he has the brown jacket that you were playing with Nico Bellic. This does... This is, I can almost bet you 
This is not Nico Bellic. I could bet my life on it. This is not Nico Bellic. He was doing well at the end of GTA 4. This is not Nico Bellic. It says he needs money for beer and something something and uh, something something. Which So he needs money for beer, obviously, which is not the best thing to put on a sign, in my opinion. You just need money. But um, So he doesn't have a job, obviously, or he's just a bum. But, uh, okay, let's continue. <laughs> Bums on the side of, or under the bridge, and they have tents and stuff. You know, economy, of course. Jets, or oh, we just you, uh, you guys just saw that there was a jet, a fire jet. Wait, let me rewind here. Let me just go back a little bit. Dang it, I missed it again. I'm so sorry. Okay, as you can see that that was a fire jet. Or it is a fighter jet, which hopefully hints that we can fly fighter jets, which would be awesome! Just blowing up everything. I think in GTA 4 you could only fly helicopter fighting helicopter things, which is fun. But if you could fly a fighter jet, which also hints that there is a wider space to fly it. So, meaning to fly from different cities and stuff, which would be uh, fun to fly from one city to another in a fighter jet. Okay, let's go. Now this guy's of course getting kicked out of a bar of some sort because he's too drunk or he just doesn't something, I don't know. But uh, yeah, he's getting kicked out. There's uh, some oil and stuff and there's some more of the city. Now this is rumored to be CJ, which is obvious. I don't, I, don't, I mean, I don't think it's CJ and I will talk about that in a second. But, uh, yeah, he's getting chased by the cops because he's a bad guy. Bad guy. Which is all what GTA is about. <laughs> now, people are saying this is CJ just because they, in the default, just like Nico Bellic, he wore a brown jacket. Uh, CJ from San Andreas wore a white uh, tank top. And, uh, or whatever you would like to call it. And he's getting chased by the cops. But in the end of San Andreas... Uh, CJ was doing really well for he had a mansion he was so rich so I don't know why he'd be chased by the cops by a helicopter and he was in a tank top that doesn't make sense to me so I'm just gonna say that is not him because he was doing really well for himself at the end of San Andreas so I don't see how he would be on the streets again unless he got I don't know but you know that's just my opinion at this point let's go <laughs> Now this is Vinewood, which is Hollywood, but you, it's, you know, GTA, it's not called Los Angeles, it's called San Andreas, or the whole state. So it's, uh, it's called Vinewood, not Hollywood, which is cool, but that's just, just them. Now there's a plane, and it's flying, which means that you might be coming from somewhere. That's what we're trying, with some people are thinking, you're coming from somewhere, because it's coming over the Vinewood and coming into the city. Which means you might be coming from another state, or city to come to this or uh, to come to San Andreas that is it GTA 5 hopefully they'll give us another trailer or actually a release date which they haven't and or not even a year which hopefully we're hoping it's in 2012 maybe in the summer and this is really weird for uh, Rockstar to do because they usually don't put two games to get against each other to compete Right now, they're usually only they usually only push one game at a time, and right now they're pushing Max Payne 3, and now they're pushing GTA 5. Usually they put one out at a time. There was Red Dead Redemption, and then there was LA Noir, and now it is, and then it was Max Payne, and then they just released this trailer. And some people are thinking it is because of Saints Row 3, but I don't. They don't. They don't play or act like. They don't act like each other. Saints Row 3 is more of a fun, just crazy, unrealistic, kind of, no, not realistic. That's what's fun about it. GTA uh, GTA 5, or GTA 4, and all the GTAs were trying to be as realistic as possible. To make, well, as, almost as realistic as possible to still make it fun. And uh, that's they've succeeded on that, obviously. And lots of people, GTA 4, have given them 10s or whatever, have given them the highest possible. I, I, it's going to be awesome to see if they've improved. Or they have slacked off. Which, if they have improved, I don't see how they could have improved. Because that game was awesome. It was spot on. So, if they did improve, yay. Then that's going to be awesome. And that's it for the video, guys. Uh, please leave your comments below. GTA 5, okay.
just should leave it there. Uh, please leave your comments below on what you think will be out of GTA 5 and everything and all that stuff and that stuff and other stuff. Okay. So thank you guys for watching and please leave a like and subscribe for more of these kind of videos. Thank you and goodbye.